How hard was it to create that scene um, in Detroit? Because when you think about a place like Detroit, it's very rough. It's very um, impoverished, and everybody's trying to get some money and get out and, and make a way. How was y'all able to create that scene and blow up in the music out there like that? Shit, Grand, you know, like Detroit is silly for the hustler. So it's like when you hustling, like we in the at the time when we was doing, we probably wasn't thinking like we marketing for the music. But if we go in the club and we blow thirty, forty thousand, we marketing. Cause everybody now like, who the fuck is them? You know what I'm saying? We weren't looking at it like we was marketing. Before all of this make it rain came popping, we had a song called Turn Them Into Roaches. Where we throw money and watch all the girls get on the floor <laughs> like roaches. So it was hard. Turn oh, them into roaches shit. back then. Like we were, That's some wild shit. So that was long before making it rain. We thought the song was called Throw Something, Turn Them All Into Roaches. Crack the quiz, watch the bosses do the toast. Yeah. So, I mean, we've we been doing like wild stuff for a long time. Like it's, it's been going down. Now, I want you to keep it real. You know, everybody that raps at some point be feeling like, man, nigga, like, especially when you underground, man, that nigga took my shit. Man, hold on. That's our, that's our slang. Hold on, man. Wait a minute. You know, especially Dallas. Nigga, oh, no, man, we started that. Whoop de whoop. Did y'all ever feel like the mainstream just straight took some of y'all shit and didn't really reciprocate where they got it from? You know, I mean, now you're probably going to the Cartier thing. Like everybody, everybody come up with the Cartier thing, man. Cartier thing, but I, Oh, y'all started that? Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> Niggas just took that from like y'all. my man, Blair Icewood, he was talking about the diamonds and the Cartier way back then. So, yep. like, people today, uh, I be getting, people be DMing me, like, Master P started it, or this person started it, but it's like- But nobody was fucking We made it popular. Like, if you, if you go around now, motherfucker be like, Oh, you got on some cars, you'd be like, oh, you from Detroit, you got on some cars, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's a staple that everybody claim to now. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Now, um, there, like you said, there's a there's a figure again, just doing a doc search, you know, um, uh, Blade, I think his name is? Blade, yeah. Blade, um, Blade Icewood in the group, you know what I'm saying? Um, talk about him and, and, and his importance to the street lords, you know, that seemed to be like a very big loss um, at the time when he was, you know, when he uh, passed, uh, let's touch man, on his you life. Know, like, hey, that's my man. Like, like to see his son today. Like, we got kids. Our kids like the same age. So to see his son growing up and then he looked just like his dad. It's, it's hard to know my friend died over nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, he really died over like some jealous type shit. Like, not he didn't have anything to do with what happened to it another individual who got killed and then they wind up a retaliation they wind up shooting him right first time he got shot like seven times with a k he lived and then he got end up later getting killed like i literally talked to blade the night before he died i was in jail i was in federal prison and i got a cell phone in jail so we kicking it he had did this his last album called blood sweat and tears and he was putting it on a ipod for for me and his brother we was in the feds together and uh, we just joking and we talking about like, he can't get no pussy and yeah. I'm like you. And damn. it was like, damn, like, no, brother, you ain't like me. I'm in jail, you out there sucking pussy like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, in the free like world, a, you mean? He like a silly motherfucker, man. Yeah. So we talking and he like, man, I love you, man. I'm telling you, man, when you get out, man, it's gonna be on. And then the next day I get a call on the cell phone. The girl like, man, Blade just got killed, Blade just like, no, oh, stupid. He got shot back in September. He's straight. I just hung up with him. Yeah. She's like, no, he got killed right now. And then my line click on the cell phone. It's my good, it's my girl cousin and my child mother. They screaming to the top of their lungs like, he got killed. He dead. Like, to be honest, man, every time I be sitting down doing interviews and talk about that shit, it damn near be half enough. Hold myself together to know my friend died over some bullshit. Okay. Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Move.